Hey guys, what's up? This is Prompt River of Prompt River Games, joined to you with my good buddy, Rocky T Gays, aka Rocket Pocket. Hey, sorry. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> and uh, this one here is a little bit different because normally we uh, we stream the Dream Daddy, but today we're just doing a simple recording because we're recording this uh, in the new hours of New Year, the New Year. That we seamless. <laughs> We'd give you guys a new episode of Dream Daddy into the new year while she's uh, still in town with me. So let's, uh, without further ado, get back to uh, where we was at to Dad. Welcome. You've got dads. We've got dads. All right, Rock. It's the last time we left off. We had a very important decision to make on which daddy we were gonna- Oh, I know, Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> Even after you were talking all that shit about him? I don't care. Did you wanna read- gonna be the most funny. <laughs> Did you wanna <laughs> see any of the other's bios? Or? Nope. Joseph. <laughs> oh, God, see? Y'all can just buy the game if y'all really wanna fucking know. <laughs> and maybe, we don't know, maybe one day we'll come back and play some other dads. <laughs> Damien. <laughs> I really do want to do Damien's one day. We definitely. We definitely should do Damien's, but Here. I really want to see. Wanna... Have you done Damien's? Yeah, oh, I've done them all. Oh, okay, cool. I've done all the dads. <laughs> Alright, do you want to read his bio or want me to read it for you? Um, we can read different parts if you want. Yeah, we don't even have to read okay. it here. Okay, Joseph, uh, Joseph Christensen, Lord, voted Maple Bear's number one youth minister for five years running, living in my hometown with my beautiful wife and our four amazing kids. Wait, if you're doing Joseph's voice. <laughs> if I'm not in church, you can catch me out on the open water. I'm Joseph's voice actress. <laughs> Setting sail on the seas of adventure. I love playing guitar and crushing my kids with what? That is a lie. You do not love your wife. He turns on my you can tell wife. he's doing that to impress the other freaking people. Right. <laughs> we know y'all. You can just hear the air quotes around wife. Wife. His wife's a piece of work. That's all I'm gonna say. Let's send him a message. I bought this in case, but I think I remember Joseph's root. Okay. Cheat, man. I'm gonna cheat if it's over there. Alright, narrator, that was you. Uh, his family. Yeah, his family's a little weird, but Joseph seems cool. I should take him up on his offer to hang out. Wait, who do I hang out with a priest? Do I go to church? Should I be Jesus-y? How do you be Jesus-y? Houseway. Oh. I imagine Joseph's family staring at me as I fumble through some sort of prayer attempt. Maybe not too Jesus-y? A light smattering of Jesus? <laughs> Do I have to pray at him? How do you pray at somebody? <laughs> you pray for somebody. I pray for your soul. Cause you going to <laughs> Talking to Joseph, huh? Ah. Good. Amanda, how many times have I told you to sneak up? Like Not to sneak up. Not? Oh. You're the one who didn't read it right, Goomba face. You know what? <laughs> Suck on these Goomba nuts. Anyway, <laughs> Amanda, how many times have I told you to, to not sneak up on me like that? I selectively ignore it every time you do, Pops. Her eyes are a little puffy. Almost as if she's inclined. Damn, girl, I just know it's Aww. good. Oh, of course. I'm fine. Yeah. I just started thinking about how there are a bunch of people who still don't think aliens exist, and it's bumming me out. Like, space is so infinitely huge. Just because you can't convince, conceive it doesn't mean it can't exist. I understand that Fermi paradox, but to completely write off aliens? There's not so, there's so much stuff we just don't know. Huh. 
This is the wine kicking. <laughs> you all stuttering and shit. I'll be okay. Look, it's one in the morning over here, this too. This is true. We just finished celebrating the New Year's. <laughs> I'm glad. Huh. But aliens are definitely out there, and I hope they'll one day be my friends. To tell me what's actually... What parent would actually say number two? Tell me what's actually... Like, oh, really? That's a dick move. It is. Well, now you say this. Shit. Um, I feel like the first one, but I like the third one, too. I I like the first one. But I think the first one. Yeah. Because I like how he says this. He was kind of asking, are you sure everything's okay? Yeah. If there's, you know, anything going on, I just want you to know that I'm here for you. And I'll always be here for you. Your pink mustache. What <laughs> the heck? Whether you need a shoulder to cry on strong dad to go kick someone but excuse me i'm only a phone call away <laughs> and that's the wine and her kicking in <laughs> thanks popsicle i appreciate that <laughs> but i'm fine really i'm unconvinced but i'll stop bartering her or badgering bartering <laughs> you got so nerve talking about me will you shut every up 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 I'm unconvinced, but I'll stop badgering her about it. I'm sure she'll tell me when she's ready. Amanda looks over my shoulder at the screen. Joseph can't read your mind, you know. If you want to talk, just message him. But I've never been friends with a priest before. What do I talk about? My favorite Bible passages? Ice cream socials? Khakis? You guys couldn't see what I see, but she was looking over her shoulder like the police was after her. Well, I mean, I know you do got a warrant, but still. <laughs> First of all, he's a youth minister with a tattoo, not a priest. There's a difference? Not much, but... <laughs> We're thinking it, Dad. Listen, just put it like this. Dad! Hello, neighbor. Thanks again for the invite to the barbecue. I'd love to hang out soon if you're not too busy. Huh. Fine, fine. Give me the keyboard. I got this. Eh? She's like, Amanda focuses on the keys. Hi, Joseph. This is great meeting you and your family. I'm still new around here, so if you like to love, I love to hang out and get to know you. See you. That smiley is a nice touch. Almost immediately, I receive a response. Eh. What'd he say? Hi, truck. <laughs> If you're not doing anything in a bit, the kids and I are baking treats for the church bake sale today, and we'd love to have you over. It'd be a blast, so let me know. Joseph. What the? Oh, that wasn't so bad. That damn... I forgot what that symbol is called. But fuck you for that. Oomlet dot. <laughs> That's not oomlet. Oomlet's the two dots, you clot. <laughs> and it's oomlot, not oomlet. You oomlet. Oh, paradot. How I said it. Paradot. How about you be a freaking paradot and read your lines? Darn it. He uses a lot of exclamation points. Hmm. I'm more concerned about him signing his name with a tid. That's what it's called. A tillid. I'm willing to let it slide this time. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> that is what that's called. A tillid. Yeah, that's what Amanda just said. A titty. I respond back. Sounds like fun. No, Trunk, Trump. don't do it! Well, I guess I'm doing this. I can't even read when our hair's too awesome. I can't even read what Joseph said back. <laughs> Save a brownie for me? Promise you won't sneak up on me anymore? Huh. Amanda stares at me unblinkingly. I don't make promises I can't keep. We all do fault pops. Dad. <laughs> and dad, please don't be weird about the religion thing. Me? Weird? Never. Oh god. <laughs> I make the short walk over to Joseph's place. Don't be weird, Trunk. I just realized he has an anchor like right Yeah, this pompous <laughs> ass house. <laughs> <laughs> this red ass like chimney and shit. Dot dot dot. What if they hang up a bunch of crosses? Or collect all the little porcelain babies? Ew. What 
says they're all praying. Do they pray before dinner? During dinner? Over the course of the baby? <laughs> what the heck? If, they, if you see somebody doing that, run. <laughs> Just run. <laughs> that's a cult or that's some creepy Satan shit. Exactly. Now, if you're into that, then I mean, do you boo boo, but still. Exactly. Alright. The door begins to creak open. A shadowy figure obscured on the other side. It's you. Me? Oh, who's there? Uh, Trump? <laughs> the door opens the rest of the way. It's, it's Joseph one of, Eldest. It's one of his carbon copy kids. Oh, well, let me kids. change my voice then. <laughs> What's his name? Hey. Hey? Uh. Remember his name? Do you have any places for Chris? Yeah, you're right. It is Chris. <laughs> Hi again. It's I'm Trunk. <laughs> I know what your name is. Why are you me attitude? Dang. Oh yeah, we met at the barbecue. How's the uh? Please don't say it. Jesus. <laughs> How's the Jesus? <laughs> How's the Jesus? <laughs> really, dude. Chris blinks slowly. Maybe he didn't hear that. You're weird. You are weird. Is your dad? Before I finish, Chris walked into an adjacent room, leaving me in front of the open doorway. Wow, kid. That was a prowler, freaking. Was this rape you? <laughs> no. Okay. Home? Question mark. This was a great first impression. Really, no. I like to think of it. For a moment, I wonder if I should just go in, further subjecting Joseph's family to my winning attitude and artful charisma. <laughs> Merciful Joseph, he peeks his head around the corner. <laughs> Trunk, you've made it. <laughs> Joseph approaches me with his arms wide. This guy. Uh, I'm so glad you could come by. Are you ready to bake? <laughs> I am not. <laughs> I'm as ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> That's the kind of. <laughs> That's Aaron's voice from Game Grumps. Lord. Aaron's, yeah, Aaron's, Aaron's the voice. Yo. <laughs> yeah, I thought you realized. Yeah, uh -uh. it's Aaron. He knows that laugh. Like, oh, that sounds really familiar. Yup. <laughs> That's the kind of semi baking and the semi confidence I like to see in a baking assistant. Come on in. Hey. <laughs> Joseph leads me into a bright, spacious hall full of nautical knickknacks. This isn't what I imagined at all. It's actually pretty charming. Hey. I believe you meant Chris, who left you outside. Yeah. Chris. <laughs> mm. Are you going to apologize? Oh, right. Sorry. Jeez. Why does this kid just looks like he's sizing us up like, every time? Look, let's see if this looks like he has a hernia on his butt cheek. <laughs> <laughs> like he's just, just mad always mad. Like I, Ernest. Yeah, I try to make I try to make my make eye contact with Chris, but he keeps looking away. He must be really shy. That's one way to put it. Okay, possessed. <laughs> it's alright. Next time, be a little more inviting to our guests, okay? Yeah. There you go. Sure. Rude ass little kid! They all punch in the throat! <laughs> seems to relish the chance to escape the conversation and quickly vanishes into his room. Joseph turns to me apologetically. Yeah, mouse, why are you being dumb? Oh, sorry, I forgot. I, I forgot I'm preacher man for a second. Don't take it personally. <laughs> Chris likes to keep to himself. I mean, you didn't start off on the best foot in the world. Yeah, I guess. Oh. We try to cut him a little slack when we can. Oh god. Are you ready for the twins? <laughs> oh, and here are the twins. Christian and Christy say hello They're to Trump. <laughs> hello, father. Hello, trunk. Oh. 
Kids, come on. Do I live back on the creepy twin shtick? <laughs> creepy twin shtick? Egg them on. Yeah. <laughs> Egg them on. Can you two say, come play with us, Danny? Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the twins stare up in unblinking unison. Come play with us, Danny. <laughs> Oh, we got Ghost him. covers his mouth and looks away, but he's clearly holding back a big laugh. This is it. This is my dad world series. Okay, now say, please help us, Mothra. <laughs> please help us, Mothra. <laughs> no, I can't take it. <laughs> it's <a> vampire. <laughs> well, him and Damien are close. Joseph trying his best not to break in front of his kids. The twins seem to be catching on and look eager to bust their dad, but can we keep it up? I love how their faces are lighting up. See, y'all look normal now. See, when they're not doing the creepy twin thing, they're adorable. <laughs> they look semi-normal. So you go with something creepy or obscure? Which is the red one, Rocky? Obscure? Nah. Yeah. There, there's little kids. They're too dumb. They don't know obscure. <laughs> now say they all float down here. Oh. They, they all float down, down here, here, Father. <laughs> Joseph can't yeah. take it anymore. Despite his quiet pers uh, protestions. Protestions. <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing pretty hard into his hand, and the kids giggle with him. Just the twins adorable. obviously pleased with a new arsenal of spooky weapons. Leave the room to terrorize the rest of the community. My work here is done. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to be hearing those lines for weeks. Next time we hang out, I'll try to teach them some lines from the thing. Oh. Alright, so it looks like we'll have a bit of trouble, a bit of a troublemaker on our hands. You think you can out trouble a career pro? Well, sadist, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, and he already, I already was saying my line. I don't know about oh, that. Douglas. I'm suddenly interrupted by a loud crash from the kitchen. <laughs> Aaron. What now? You hear an Aaron like, said? Kirk Douglas, Kirk Douglas. <laughs> uh. Love doesn't sound good. Christy? <laughs> no one responds. Joseph furrows his brow and motions for me to stay where I am. Oh. Wait here a minute. <laughs> <laughs> See, look at that doll right there. It's missing an eye. Joseph rushes into the kitchen. I remember this with Amanda. <laughs> Half a fatherhood is trying to keep your kids from finding creative ways to kill themselves. And he's yeah. got four. Talk about worry. Yeah, you guys ever play a game, Who's Your Daddy? That's basically what parenting is. Keeping your kids from killing themselves. I take a seat on his surprisingly pristine couch and twiddle my thumbs. Mm. We want to look at everything. I'm just gonna give. Okay, save a bookshelf. Preview for everything. With the chainsaw song on it. <laughs> With the nativity song. Nativity song. You got a pig over here. <laughs> Name is Betsy. A oh, Peppa. Peppa the. <laughs> you really want to laugh? <laughs> and you got old Hermitages over here. He's a duck. <laughs> it's a prank. It is the wine with her, guys. It's the wine. I'm sorry. <laughs> Not really. Our first drunken recording. It's a pretty sturdy wooden bookshelf. It looks handmade. Did Joseph build this? Yeah, he's quite handy. <laughs> Turning a canoe into a bookshelf. He's How hands on. Fabulous. <laughs> There's a big stack of what look like travel magazines, hyenas of the Serengeti, the underwater mysteries of the Antarctic, and on and on. Seems like Joseph really loves a good adventure, unless it's his Mary thing. Who knows? Next to them are a couple of different Bibles. Looks like he's covering all the Bible bases: King James, New American Standard, the Bible for Teens. A cool youth minister, after all. Chicken duck noodle soup for the soul. Bible edition. Oh god, when was the last time I read those? Right? Jesus. I took it there. I took it there. This is got real. On a higher shelf, there are a bunch of old romance novels. Judging by the wine stains, these must be Mary's. The newest one looks like Hot Body Johnson. 
Your kids are old. Clean it out. And we still never seen that mystery baby. I'm just like, where's this mystery baby? I know that baby is dead. I spot a terrifying claw doll that appears to have had both arms pulled off several times. It's been stitched back together a lot. The tag says C plus C, of course. Yeah, the creepy ass twins. I set that down and spot a house. Tiny house plant. Aww. I spot one last thing on the floor next to the house plant. It's a silver necklace. Wow, this looks expensive for something casually tossed on the floor. If there's a story here, it's none of my business. Whoa! <laughs> it's been a while. I guess I should go into the kitchen and see what's up. Sounds like uh, he was trying to <laughs> give Mary something. She said, hell no. <laughs> She, no, no. He like man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he like he wants some trunk. He wants some trunk. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of one. Now he tasted some of the other daddy, but we won't say who. You'll find out later. <laughs> he yeah. took a little bite. I don't know if we'll even play that and show who he took a bite out of. Maybe we'll tell you guys. Maybe not. I don't know. I might tell you. <laughs> but doesn't she look adorable when she's happy? Like, oh my god. The difference is. Yes. Sweet child. So demonic. <laughs> so young. I walk into the kitchen to find Joseph holding Christy in one arm. She seems to have fallen into a minute ago. I raise an eyebrow at Joseph. Oh god, now she's ugly again. <laughs> the twins are a lot more manageable when they're separated. Where's Christian? Huh? He ran off. Where your own son is, just like Krish. Oh, Krish is dead now. Christian's about to be dead. Christy dips a spoon into the brownie batter and gives it a taste. Dad, it tastes too sweet. Oh, you're too sweet. No, I'm not. Oh, you're so sweet. We might have to water you down with spiders. <laughs> professional child wrangler and something else wrangler <laughs> christy fixes me with her best puppy dog eyes hey. save me from the spiders what should we do rocket should we spoon duel the spider king or renegade option spoon duel the spider king yeah. i grab a wooden spoon and point in joseph's direction unhand her foul beast hmm. Okay, Trunk the Valiant, let's see what you've got. <laughs> you may have defeated me in a train. A <laughs> train? <laughs> Tarantula bitch. <laughs> but now I have an upper hand. <laughs> Joseph gently puts Christy down behind him. Oh. Have you come to squash me, Knight? Or have you merely fallen into my web? I'm no mere fly, Spider King. Now in our guard. <laughs> on guard? Now in our guard. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe this was the best. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I'm no mere fly. On guard. Oh, now Christy's pissed. She's like, alright, he was having fun with me, and now 
hap now he's playing with my dad. Hmm, where have I seen this before? Oh yeah, the all the other scene. men that's come to this house. The nativity scene. <laughs> For a minute or so, Joseph and I mocked Joel with the two dumbest looking spoons in the room. Eventually, I strike a killing blow on the invisible heart between his arm and his body, and Joseph recoils in horror. Oh, cracker bills! <laughs> what the hell, Aaron? <laughs> Blast! I am defeated. Ooh, I don't know what the fuck <laughs> you can never best me, Spider King. But I have the power of. Oh. I sneak a taste from the brownie batter. The magic. Oh man. That is way too sweet. Right. <laughs> Christy begins jumping up and down excitedly. My hero! Christy hugs my leg. Aww. Aww, she isn't so demonic after yeah. all. Yeah. Watch, you little bastard. <laughs> hey, wait. Do you want to bake brownies with us? Christy hesitates, then shakes her head no again. Sparkle pony. Yeah. <laughs> Sparkle pony? Joseph looks confused. Aww. You don't want to bake with Dad now. You want to play with Sparkle Pony? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, go. I love Aaron. <laughs> Aaron is such an amazing voice actor. I love him. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Before Joseph can finish his scenes, Chrissy is out the door and down the hall. Ahead. Mm. Much longer, I'm able to do it, Aaron. Joseph <laughs> sighs deeply as he stares into the chocolate batter. He tastes it again, face twisting. And that is still way too sweet. What made that crash? Hey. Egg beaters on linoleum floor. Oh. It's my new techno single. Still haven't thought of a B side. Joseph, I love you! <laughs> Fancy, I'm a I'm a techno nerd, so I get it. <laughs> Roll your eyes and be rocking. <laughs> now we're both looking into the batter. It's got a sickly sheen of sugar and chocolate candies throughout. And I have a feeling Chrissy has something to do with it. You know she did. Uh. Probably a booger in there <laughs> and turds. I'm like, we need a fresh fingers. start. Like I said, I'm not really a baker, but... <laughs> Don't even sweat it. The bag came with instructions that have mysteriously vanished along with my daughter. So we'll probably be fine. Probably. Whoa! Yeah, probably. <laughs> he certainly looks confident. Alright! <laughs> Look, Betty Crocker, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> that's what he said, freaking, but they lost the instructions. Alright, Trunk. You've baked a cake from a box before, once. How hard could this be? Yeah, Christy took the instructions. That's why the little, oh, this is a little demon. Now grab a spoon and get ready to rock. More like a grim one when you really think about it. Mario Batali, save me. I don't know if I get Mario Batali. He's in, he's in trouble. Hey, Mario. Joseph and I set to work cracking the eggs and mixing the things. And then pouring the things according to how we assume the back of the box would tell us to. Mario Batali, you failed! You failed us! <laughs> things go according to plan, and soon enough we have a solid batch of brownies. Yeah. Oh. It's you. Oh. Whew. I thought it was Joseph for a second, yeah, but me now. Too. <laughs> I was like, wait. Joseph has a little dot of batter on his nose. Yeah. That shit off him. Well, oh, Trunk, where to use those dad skills? I bet you've baked a few box mixes in your time. His nose. His nose. <laughs> Joseph. That chiseled nose of a god. Hmm. All we have to do is bring these to the bake sale and voila, duty done. <laughs> Now, help me find Christy. Keep your eye for a pony that sparkles. Joseph. 
coat still. Hmm. What? Thumb in position and got it. Hey. You see that bead of sweat? Uh, he knows. <laughs> In less than a second, I've licked the batter off my finger. It's really good, though. Yeah. We, uh, we should find Christy. Hmm. I love my character because <laughs> I feel like I'm just like this like flirtatious individual. <laughs> yes, yes, we should do like, that. <laughs> Trunk. <laughs> quickly composes himself. Hmm. Alright, she can't be far. You take the delta position and I'll watch your six. Man, yes, I see you, Joseph. <laughs> Do you even know what that means? Nice. Alpha Tango Sparkle, Roger Roger. Cool. Joseph starts making his way down the wall and calls back to me. Take the brownies and the rest of the stuff I baked earlier today while I get crispy. We'll meet you out by the car. Oh. It's a big sale! Joseph, Christy, and I arrive at the church parking lot to find God! What the hell? tables and pop up tents already set up. This looks like the bake sale's already in full swing. Hmm. Wow, this place is packed! Can't count. If you can count a city's population on your fingers and toes, this counts as part. Point. Christy rocks it out of the car and into, a, and into the lot. Is she running on jet fuel? I want to sell brownies. Oh, oh, you didn't want to make the brownies, but, but now you want to sell them. Well, this is child labor, so make yourself. And, I mean, that's true. And also, yeah, look, look. put the little cutie pie up front. Wait, wait. He's like, look, look. Make the money so daddy can get the bills. <laughs> Just start hoeing down the way. I don't do that to the little cutie pie. You put it in front and people are like, oh. Nah, you don't make the brownies. You gotta sell them. <laughs> you better sell them. <laughs> She's cute, so I love her. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Let's get set up. She's down by the other row of tables helping out another group. Why don't you go over there and tell her I said hi? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Have your child run interference on you and your estranged Mom! wife. <laughs> Christy zips off immediately. Joseph seems unconcerned. Mm -hmm. Oh, you he don't, Does she always run that fast? She, he don't give a shit about his wife. <laughs> Yeah, and I can only catch her half the time. These knees aren't what they used to be. Oh. I'm gonna be, gonna be, gonna be aware about that in the future, Rocky. Have you been on your knees, Joseph? <laughs> With whom? I mean, you shouldn't be on your knees. Well, you know, you could do that, but I'm just saying. You know, after this, this first date, I might spoil the secret, because I, I don't know if we'll be able to play that deep into the game, but... I'll tell the audience. What do you mean? Oh. Yeah, you might know. I'll, you'll, oh. <laughs> you can confirm it with the end of the episode. Okay. <laughs> I remember know. when Amanda was, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I got an idea, but okay. I remember when Amanda was her age. I couldn't get her to sleep until the first place. Oh, okay. God. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, it's funny as hell. Yep, great age to deal with. Yeah. While Christy's gone, Joseph and I arrange all of our baked goods on the table and settle in. So, are we allowed to eat any of our own goods? <laughs> I don't see nothing, I don't say nothing. The man upstairs has a strong feelings about snitches. Does he actually? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Joseph <laughs> Brown sees the brownie. This <laughs> looks like some of the other selling drinks. Speak up a little bit. Oh, excuse me. I just wanna make sure your audio sounds good, buddy, because I care. Sure, okay. <laughs> it looks like some of the other stalls are drinking, or I'm sorry, selling drinks. 
Little handmade crafts in other states. I mean, if I had to be here too, I'd be drinking too. <laughs> First time to the rodeo. The bake sale rodeo. Hmm. There's actually no rodeo here. It's just a bake sale. <laughs> I think you and I put together can I think you and I together can make one pretty convincing argument for these brownies, don't you? That was a complex sentence. Jesus. Oh yeah. You got going confident! <laughs> Hell yeah, we got them hearts! If you bake it, they will come. <laughs> oh, Carmen Pita. It's not long before we have our first customers. Here, uh, man, I would have your babies in an instant, Matt. I would to you too, Joseph. I don't trust you. Oh. Hey, dude. Hiya. Matt, Carmen Cita. Great to see you guys out here. Hey. Have to support a good cause. Exactly. I tried to look up his voice actor. I couldn't find anything because his his name in the credits is known as a <laughs> as a crispy bacon. I have never heard of that before. If somebody knows like what he looks like, like definitely like send it to me somehow, or at least tell me his real name because his voice sounds so hot. Help support a good cause. Plus, you know, as the owner and proprietor of the Coffee Spoon, an establishment that specializes in baked goods, and scope out the competition. Joseph leans close to me. Hmm. This guy knows his stuff. Stay on your toes. Hmm. So, what recipe did you use the brown these brownies? Yeah, dude. We gotta be careful, because this dude right here, he makes his own shit from the ground up. Yeah, he, 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 he's legit. Don't say you use the box recipe. Don't say you use the box recipe. <laughs> uh, there's two ways you can go, but I like one answer better than the other. We improvised. Yeah, because, I mean, we did. We didn't have the instructions. Interpretive cooking, yes. You can never make the same thing twice. Every batch is special. There will never be another batch of brownies with the exact flavor sensation that these right here have. Yeah. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity now. Hey. Alright, alright, we'll take two. No Actually, we'll take three. <laughs> Enjoy your box recipe brownies, you fools! <laughs> oh, poor men. <laughs> they are lied to. They just bought them. <laughs> this tastes like some Duncan Hunts. <laughs> Do we have enough brownies for Brian? <laughs> <laughs> Do we wait, have wait, wait. it? <laughs> 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 guys, we're not fat shaming, but we hate Brian. He's an asshole. He deserves this. We're not fat shaming, guys. <laughs> I'm just saying, do we have enough brownies for this guy? It's Brian. <laughs> hey. Oh, oh 
Oh, now we really don't have enough. <laughs> oh. Can we interest you two in any of our fine sweets and treats? You sure can. I bet I can eat ten brownies. You bet you can eat twenty. No, no, don't be competitive on this one. Just let him buy his brownies. Let him buy his brownies. Let him buy his but don't be competitive on this. Excited for youth group movie night, Daisy? Yeah, what's the movie? <laughs> it's a surprise. Joseph leans over to me. Hey. It's the Fast and the Furious. <laughs> that's a that's a religious movie, but all right. I mean, it's furious and fast. <laughs> Jesus was furious and fast. <laughs> Just like his come. I'm sorry. Just kidding. Uh. <laughs> No, that was a bad joke, and I, 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 bad Monica. Not Sundays, I suppose it's not so bad. Bad prompt. No, no. <laughs> really? Hey. If you think about it, there are some heavy religious undertones. I mean, I guess. I mean, I guess you're furiously driving the car to die. But okay, <laughs> Joseph has a bag of Daisy. Oh. I made sure to give you guys the edges. Oh shit, that's the edges the, are good. That's the best part. Like I'll eat any piece of the brownie, but if I can get an edge piece, I'm like, give me that edge piece. <laughs> Clearly the superior part of brownie topography. Thanks, Joseph. Two customers walk off with their purchases. Joseph and I survey our stock. Huh. These are selling pretty hot. <laughs> At this rate, we'll have enough money to pay for a new paint job for the church pews in no time. Wait, what happened to the pews? Oh. Ernest spray painted his rapper alias on them. Young Steinbeck. That little dick. Uh, <laughs> Hugo, control your son. Thank you. Gee. my daughter. What? I know. No my slacker daughter. <laughs> no shit stain of a son. With his little orange peel looking ass. I was looking like, like Finding Nemo. <laughs> ugly ass cousin. Well, it's like freaking Davian and him. his son. You know what? I'm gonna stop. <laughs> he does look like Finding Nemo's ugly ass. You call cousin. him a slutty delight last time. <laughs> yeah, slutty delight looking ass. I would have gone for a young man in the sea, but I can respect <laughs> that. <laughs> Speaking in ministerial terms, Ernest is hard to reach. Mm. Speaking in father terms, like... Ernest is kind of a turd. Uh, he's a piece of shit. <laughs> Being a cool youth minister seems like a lot of work. Yeah. It is, but it's worth it. Oh. Although, sometimes I wish... <laughs> Never mind. Kind of silly, but oh. do you ever wish you could just drop everything and go lounge around on the beach somewhere in the tropics, drink fruity blended beverages, fall asleep on a hammock, and no, uh, basically live out a Jimmy Buffett song? If you like pina coladas <laughs> and getting caught in a rain, <laughs> if you're not into health foods. And you have half a brain. I'm like, that's not a good for sure. <laughs> Just read your lines and leave the singing <laughs> to the people with record labels. <laughs> the audience can't even hear you when you talk that quiet, so they just think Dudes you're being weird. Of a cape. <laughs> I think about this every single day of my life. My dream is to live in Margaritaville. <laughs> one day, my friend, one day we'll be on island time. It could be the Brokeback Mountain, but oh island god. edition. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> we made a couple more sales and some more church patrons. Everything seems to be going smoothly off in the distance. Man! my old buddy. Chris, why are you 
here. Craig's not buying brownies. Go oh, fuck off. We can definitely vouch for that. Wow, how you figure that is rude. Because that the scene we did for Craig, he was all up on man heat Monday. Oh. Craig. Oh. Craig, my Asian look. He's gonna be hard to sell. Craig's a fitness man. I think he comes here to these bake sales to test himself. To see if he has the resolve to refuse processed sugar. Mm. Are you sure you're before. ready for this? What the heck? Jesus. <laughs> we go way back. I got this. <laughs> Of my like spooning, uh, Craig Jobs <laughs> up to the uh, the um, uh. see, Craig, this is what you do to me. Craig Jobs it, up to our, our yes, Craig Jobs up to our table with Briar and Hazel in town. They're eating, finishing wait, they each finish an ice cream cone, so it's unlikely Ooh. we're gonna sell them on brownies. Yeah, anymore. they already had their sweets for the day. <laughs> Dad. Oh. Would you be interested in one of our delicious homemade brownies? Mm, I don't know. Man, fuck off. Get out of here. I love you, Craig, but get out of here. Remember that one? We, we, yeah, we got, we, we gotta go back, Rocket, back in time. <laughs> we gotta go back, way back. <laughs> nah, baby, nah, baby, nah, baby. <laughs> they got me singing. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my face. Get the fuck oh my out of my face. Get the fuck out of my face. Get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> switching out our laundry detergent with dish soap and how the washing machine exploded with suds. And then we decided to get back at them by baking brownies for them, but sprinkling high intensity hot sauce into the mix. And then we watched them cry after eating. Bro! <laughs> I feel bad, but we had to clean up the laundry room ourselves. Anyway, these brownies are like that, but without the hot sauce. Maybe you should get one more, for old time's sake. Oh. Thanks for a second. Oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, the girls just want games. Oh. You know what? We'll take one for each of us. Stop moaning, Craig. Jesus. Oh. Yeah. It's too late for this. Even River? Hmm. All eaters. <laughs> <gasps> Eggplant. We got eggplant! <laughs> You've got yourself a deal. Sorry, the people. <laughs> the day was snort. Down and we're pretty much out of our items to sell. Everyone starts packing up. Christy eventually comes back and immediately falls asleep and goes to the folding chair. Box mix, huh? <sighs> Come on. She just came in with a fucking sigh. Uh -huh. I'm already tired of your shit, Mary! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mary. already tired of it. What the? <laughs> already sick of you. What you do to me? Because I bring that to you. <laughs> like, See, uh, notice the music stuff. She came in like, up, oh, bitch alert. I was like, oh, Lord. Wee, wee. <laughs> <laughs> Mary saunders up to us. She looks like she'd rather be anywhere else than here. This bitch. Oh. Oh, God, so silent. Like, it's just not going to be good. Oh, hi, honey. Yup, they're selling like hotcakes, which is actually they're just brownies. Cute. Duh. <laughs> and boring. And safe. Um, hey, Mary. Mary's eyes dart over to me. Oh, 
What's the rookie doing here? The the rookie. <laughs> The rookie. Look, honey, I'm all cookie. Okay, <laughs> not rookie. Get your. See, I am straight. already done with this bitch's bullshit. <laughs> well, do you want me to voice her instead? No, I'm just, I'm just sick her just attitude. Sick her. <laughs> <laughs> just freaking, just came in like that. I was just hoping to introduce Trunk to the rest of the community. Mm. Uh huh. I'm Sorry. Mary. <laughs> You would slap like me. My dick. Uh huh. You get a load of this freak show. What? Mm. Weird folk is all holier than thou types. Hey, don't you think? Don't you think, Trunk? Uh, uh. Mary, Come on. let the kid answer the question. Uh. Why am I in the middle of this? I don't even know your bullshit. Yeah, like this between y'all. Kind of weird. They seem nice. Have a brownie in her mouth so you can... it's funny when i first was like when i first was playing this and i like saw the third option i thought that was us saying shove a brownie in your mouth so you can't talk but no it's like a shove a i thought that was us because i was like oh i would totally say that like fuck off uh, and... is it the third option nah it's a two yeah they seem nice yeah we're, we're not gonna give it to her shit mm-hmm. they uh church that's pretty cool i guess <sighs> hmm uh, yeah. mary could we talk about this later come on oh am i embarrassing you in front of your new friend joseph doesn't respond trying his hard to keep his cool hey, this is when you change your voice buddy mm. nah, no, no. not yet nah. <laughs> can we please talk about this later <laughs> sure thing Honey bear. Hey. Mary turns her attention to me. Hand over the cash. Uh. <laughs> mm. Jesus, I'm not trying to rob you. I'm in charge of the funds here. Who would trust her with funds? She's probably selling it for dildos. <laughs> <laughs> I hand over the cash we made. It feels like a hefty wad, if I may say so myself. Hmm? Thanks. Huh? Now give me your wallet. What? Ah. Give me your wallet. You think this church is going to fix itself? Mm. Mary. Hey. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Sorry, I'll work on... just in the kidding. Whatever. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Sorry, I'll work on the whole pretending to be happy thing. Mary leans in and whispers to me. Ah. He's really good at it. God damn, woman! (laughs) Damn. Off without saying goodbye. Yeesh. Yeah, see, that was an angry Joseph. That was a pussy whip Joseph. <laughs> like Mary just came in and turned this mother out. Hmm. Like, jeez. I'd be dot 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 too. Um, I'm really sorry you had to hear that. Are you okay? Which is funny. I thought that was it too, but uh, what's it nah, real? It's actually nah. Brownies fix everything. Yeah. <laughs> this brownie will alleviate the situation. <laughs> I take a brownie split in half, offering it to Joseph. He takes it. We eat. How's that feel? <laughs> Better. Better. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready to head out? <laughs> Chrissy nods off the moment Joseph straps her to the car seat. Holy ish, you talked about me reading your <laughs> lines. Now look. I drive Joseph off in front of his house. A small yawn sneaks. A small yawn sneaks out. Mm. Looks like I took a you out, huh? Mm, doing the inception again, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a sleepy dad. I think I might finally be crashing from all the sugar. Oh. <laughs> I won't keep you up long. Hmm. Thanks for helping out today. Happy to do it. Also happy to eat brownies. Oh. Well, next time I promise we'll do something a bit more exciting and a bit less free labor. And I'm very sorry about the whole thing with Mary. You shouldn't have had to see that. It's fine, really. Yeah. 
I know, but first hang out domestic problems aren't a good look. You barely know me. Hey. Let me make it up to you next time. It won't be Margaritaville, but we'll do something fun. Promise. I smile. I like that. Hey. Oh, and one last thing. Delta tosses a clean wrap brownie down the window. It hits me in the face, but I'm able to catch it. Down the window, huh? Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's the last one. You earned it. Yeah, deal with your fucking wife. But anyway, <laughs> Joseph, please don't leave me alone with this brownie. Nope. Too late. I'm already walking away. No, 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 no. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Joseph walks up to his house. He waves at me before carrying Christy inside. Well, it looks like it's just you and me, Brownie. No, we gotta save it. Save the brownie. Remember, Amanda wanted a brownie. Man, you know what, Amanda? Shut up, fucking cat. <laughs> <laughs> Dad. I brought the new brownie. This might come in handy down the road. <laughs> I step inside to find Amanda doing homework on the couch. Eh? I can't smell me crying no more. Hey, father unit. Hi, child. That I'm required by law to care for. What the heck? House homework. Huh. Really fun and educational. Really? <laughs> How long have you known me for? <laughs> right. <laughs> How was the bake sale? I swear this is my daughter. Like, if I ever have a daughter, I feel like she is going to be Amanda. <laughs> I feel like Carmen Steepy will probably be my daughter. Aww. <laughs> Good. I think I really could have made a good life for myself as a brownie salesman. <laughs> ah. This is exactly why I cosplayed Amanda in Necocon, because this is my daughter. <laughs> the sass is the, the sass is genetic. <laughs> it's like it's genetic. Glad to hear it. So So what? Uh -huh. We're there. Any extra brownies? Or did you maybe sneak one or Than mine. See, we're being a good dad. Heads up. <laughs> See, Roger being so ah. mean. Wait. I hurl the brownie towards Amanda. It hits the wall behind her and falls on the ground. <laughs> nice throw. Ah. Uh. Catch it though, you good ass bitch. She scoops <laughs> it up and smiles. Don't talk at me. that way about our Amanda Panda. She's adorable. She is. All right. Thanks, pops. Uh. You need to catch. Hey. You're not going to go to bed anytime soon. Would you be game for some real shark hunters of Orange County? <laughs> I thought the last hunter got eaten by a shark. Mm -hmm. You did. I sit down next to her and cozy up with a blanket. Awesome. Oh, I'll try oh. to exercise regularly. Oh, well, how we do. <laughs> Rank that daddy! That in my life. That was awesome. awesome. Thank, thank you. you, thank you. <laughs> Freaking awesome. Aaron. Ass rank that daddy! Yeah! <laughs> ass in that motherfucking ass! What the heck? Well, that is uh, it for date one with the Joseph complete. Number 77. Don't smoke. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna cut this episode right here on day one. We'll be back for uh, day two, but uh, I I promised you guys. Uh, I promised. Uh, I tell you since we probably weren't gonna get that in-depth in the game anyway. It's, it's a little more complex. You gotta do more stuff that to me it's not really necessary unless you want to see it. But if those of you out there who haven't known this or want to try for yourself, if you go on two dates with Robert at first, but then you go on three dates with Joseph, before you meet Joseph on your third date, Robert will come in and he's mad. He's very mad and tells you that Joseph has done this before. 
that he uses people and that him and Robert had a had a sexual relationship not too long ago. Mm-hmm. I was like, when I first saw that, I was like, what? <laughs> so it kind of seems like if you, like, so Monica's basically Without saying, giving too many spoilers, but yeah. yeah. So you go on two dates with Robert, yep. three dates with... Yeah, go on two dates with Robert first and then go on three dates with Joseph. And then that happens. Yep, <laughs> when, before you meet Joseph on the third day, Robert will pop in and be mad. Because you chose Joseph over him. Hmm. Yeah? It's so crazy. kind of just like, we don't, need to, we don't need to be around him because he's an asshole. Yeah. What? I think it's a funny story because Mary's hilarious and their kids are hilarious. And it's just... Yeah, I'm liking Joseph's route, though. I've, even though I've seen it before, I, I like it. I'm glad, because Rocket here, she doesn't have Dream Daddy, so she's only seen some roots. Like, of course she's seen Craig. <laughs> Because you know her with Craig. But uh, we thank you guys for joining us for another episode of Dream Daddy. This is shorter than the usual since we usually stream them. But uh, we hope to get back with some more episodes soon. So uh, talk to you guys later. Yeah. Stay classy. And, uh, before you freaking turn this off. Yeah. Uh, you guys can follow me on Instagram at Rocky <laughs> the <laughs> underscore T game. Gotta promote her channel. Of course I do. You also can follow that same thing on YouTube. Ha ha. <laughs> Bye. Even though her link will be in the description on YouTube. But uh, Bye. See you next episode. Bitches.